if we do in fact live in a multiverse with parallel universes, where are these worlds hiding? Well, we do have entities next to us that we cannot see. One of the things I told you about in my previous videos is the angels that are next to us. We don't see, we don't have the frequency. We can't see with our eyes that frequency. We have taken, um, we have seen them from the screens of our cameras. Uh, I'm talking by personal experience, but unfortunately my thumb was too big to uh, work the, the button properly on my camera. At that instance, when we saw the angel during a baptism, we, I couldn't press the button in time. Um, uh, but uh, I wasn't the only one seeing it. Uh, there were other people looking through my camera screen to see it. Uh, a light which is not, it's a light entity which is made up of uncreated light. And of course they don't have wings. The angel was standing next to the priest who was reading the exorcism prayers before the baptism and um, uh, holy myrrh uh, of the uh, baptismal ceremony. But going back to this, by some estimates, the known universe can contain as many as 2 trillion galaxies, but with average galaxy holding approximately 100 million stars and untold numbers of planets, but could there be multiple copies of the entire universe as we understand it? The concept of a multiverse, worlds that invisibly coexist alongside us, well, that's one of the example is the angels alongside us, perhaps representing versions of reality that are near or identical to our own, is a pervasive idea in science fiction and one that has intrigued generations of physicists as well as science fiction creators and fans. While scientists have not yet did not yet find any evidence that multiverses exist, there are a number of hypotheses that use the law of physics to explore the possibility of multiple, multiple universes sometimes challenging our understanding of reality itself in the process. Erin McDonald, astrophysicist, engineer, and self-proclaimed massive sci-fi nerd, quote-unquote, explained during a panel on uh, uh, Future Con, a festival that highlighted the intersection between science, technology, and science fiction taking place in Washington, D.C. Our universe exists within the fabric of space-time, 3D space combined with time to create 4D continuum. This is what McDonald explained. But scientists can't say for sure what space-time looks like, which means it might hold countless universes that are invisible to us, she said. And one, one example I gave you was the angelic realm around us. Now, the simplest version, and there, by the way, it's not just us that we see them today. Uh, they're in the Holy Bible, Old and New Testament. If you look, for example, in um, the book of Tobit, the archangel Raphael looked like a human, but he was an archangel. And also the book of the Maccabees, the angels uh, all above them and around them and fighting with them. Anyway, the simplest version, it says here, of the multiverse concepts is the so-called mirror universe in which a single alternate universe closely parallels ours, but is also its opposite, such as a mirror, mirror episode of the original Star Trek television series in which a landing party mistakenly beams up to a different version of the Enterprise occupied by more brutal versions of their familiar crewmates. Another perspective is the multiverse. On the multiverse is the brain universe, B-R-A-N-E, which describes our universe as one membrane in a vast possible infinite stack of membrane universes but with no connection or means to communicate between them, McDonald explains. Multiverse universes might also exist within contained bubbles of space-time, a concept explored in the video game Bioshock Infinite. By this reckoning, inhabitants of two universes could theoretically interact should their bubbles connect to each other directly, according to McDonald. Quantum universes appear more commonly in sci-fi, McDonald said, this idea suggests that every decision a person makes spawns a new timeline, creating a new and self-contained universe that follows a different path. Science fiction writers crafting time travel stories frequently invoke the rules of quantum universes to explain how characters can travel to the past and not erase their own existence. Their every choice births new universes entirely, 
leaving the universe that was their original intact. But perhaps the most disturbing premise of all is whether the universe we perceive as real is in fact a simulation of some kind uh, of the movie as in the movie Matrix. Would you want to know if you were a simulation but had no control? Could we test if we in a simulation we uh, if we were just a code? McDonald asked in the audience for now plenty of questions remain unanswered about multiple universes and the reality of our own, she said. None of these can be proven, but they're fun to think about, she said. This was by Mindy Weisberger, Life Science on Bedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.